McLeod with the TMC Newsroom. Today is November 30th, 2010, and here are today's top stories. FlightView launched a fully powered, feature-enhanced version of FlightView's travel app, known as FlightView Elite, for the Android. The application enables travelers to track flight details in real time, plan for delays with the industry's most advanced delay map, and call the airline directly to rebook flights. FlightView's new Elite version comes loaded with several enhancements, including flight boards, directions to the airport, and weather forecasts. Apart from FlightView Elite for the Android, FlightView offers flight tracking apps for the BlackBerry, Palm, and the iPhone. Discovery's last launch will take place no earlier than December 17th, assuming that all repairs, testing, and engineering evaluations are completed and no new problems are found. Previously, NASA planned to launch in early November, but the discovery of cracks on the shuttle's external fuel tank meant to move to late November. NASA's Launch Review Board moved the launch date back after looking at the repairs and engineering reports around cracks on two 21-foot-long U-shaped stringer brackets on the shuttle's external tank. More repairs and evaluations will take place with the next status review scheduled for December 2nd. If managers clear the launch for December 17th, NASA hopes to launch at 8.51 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. In other news, a recent announcement from eCycle highlighted the launch of its new online iPhone buyback program, designed to help individuals and businesses to quickly and easily sell their used iPhones and iPads. The new program enables individuals and businesses to generate an instant quote for their old iPhone or iPad, receive a postage paid box in the mail within a few days, and receive a prompt payment by check. All iPhones and iPads offered through the program are purchased by eCycle, even if the devices are damaged or broken. The company offers a stringent data security process through which all personal information is permanently deleted to ensure it never fa falls into the wrong hands. The online iPhone buyback program is the first offered by eCycle that's specifically designed for consumers. That's all for today. For all the latest news in the communications world, visit TMCNet.com. I'm Jacqueline Allard with the TMC Newsroom. Thank you for watching.